Hello, this is Jeffrey from Ripe Color. And, and this is Nancy Green in the Garden. And this is the reading for June 10th. We are the Daily Duo, and this is us drinking water. Water is very important for your mm -hmm. health. That might be part of the message. You know, that's how weird things work. Mm -hmm. All right. So um, we read on five energies daily, body, mind, spirit, grounding, and clarity. I read five tarot cards. Nancy Jean reads five crystals in the garden. We both offer readings. We both um, have membership available on our respective channels. Membership allows you access to um, special videos. Um, we both also have physical goods in the physical world. All mm. the information is below on our respective channels. Did I say what we read on? Did I say the five Yes, you did. We okay. The five elements. And please uh, like, subscribe, share, comment, press the bell for notifications. Right. Okay. The water threw me out, threw me off. Yes, I was drinking. I have, water, I have water in my garden too, right there. Exactly. What's going on? Okay. Now, as you know, or maybe you figured out, because I wear the same outfit every day, I, I don't put on the same shirt every day, we pre tape. Mm -hmm. so sometimes we, I, I can, you know, because we do that, I can sort of get like a, so we, we get, we're getting this card again. Mm -hmm. It's like spirit keeps on offering you and you keep on saying, oh, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Take the gift. There's something there's like an intuitive hit. There's a gift. Receive the gift. Body. <laughs> Mind. Here's the gift again. So your mind, I think your mind has this recollection of something um, like a memory or, or a pleasantness in the past that you're going to be able to access and utilize. So it's almost like I was reading this card a few days ago for someone and um, it's almost like you have this childhood dream. It's like, oh, I really want to do that. And it, it, sometimes it's about getting in touch with that energy and actually uh, picking it back up again, you know, maybe not like, oh, well, I always want to play the violin and I would start playing the violin, but the joy of it, mm -hmm. there's this access to uh, a, a joy that I think you're going to be able to tap into a joy that you haven't felt in quite a long time, body, mind, spirit, um, that that's going to come through your senses and through your intuition. And it's going to bring you peace, body, mind, spirit. And, and it, it really has the opportunity to transform you. Okay. It's almost like uh, you're going to be able to use something old or something that maybe you thought was sort of, it's almost like, okay. It's like you found something in the house, maybe some electronic thing in the house that you've had in the closet for a thousand years or, or, or a, um, like a, um, a gift or uh, some sort of energy or some sort of um, skill that you have that you're going to be able to like reaccess and say, oh, I forgot that I knew how to do that. It's almost like riding a bicycle after 30 years mm -hmm. or something like that. It's like, oh, this feels good. This is great. And, you know, it gets me to where I'm going and it's really good for the environment. And, mm -hmm. You know, I, I feel like there's something old or past that you're going to be able to utilize that you know how to use. And it's going to really like revitalize you, body, mind, spirit, grounding. And then for clarity, I get like one of the real clear cards that this is a nine. So uh, I feel like there's this, uh, there's this almost tendency like to beat yourself up for something that you didn't do or that you haven't done. And it's like, that's not, that doesn't really serve you. Just know that it's there and you could use it and it's, and it's, and it's useful and you picks it up again and go with that. That's what I'm getting. Kind of weird. No, this stone actually means carry forward solutions from your past lives. There you go. 
So, you know, and the problem is that your, your spirit and your energy, your um, grounding is sitting in the same place. And it's saying clarification comes from dealing with things in your past. So you're looking backwards Mm -hmm. or seeing how you can take what was back there and bring it forward. But your mind is between water and air. Both of those mean that they're leaving when it's in water. It means um, that you're letting go of lim- limitations that you've had. And you may feel like whatever happened back here limited you because you're not looking at it from the right perspective. But your air says that your thoughts are really all important this day. Mm-hmm. And part of it is because your spirit has, um, it's been transforming your thinking, but not quite enough there's still some of these thoughts that really need to be clarified Mm -hmm. and you're feeling those changes inside yourself. I can't tell you how many times when you're going through because this, this whole month, as far as I can tell from looking at the readings side by side is about spiritual growth as much as anything else. And about coming to terms with thing, things on a spiritual level, what to let go of, what to hold on to. And that's going to ultimately bring a change to your body, to Mm -hmm. how you physically are here. Mm-hmm. So it's, it's an interesting day. We're not quite there yet. I wish I could say you're going to wake up today and go, Whoa! everything is wonderful, but well, everything's becoming wonderful. <laughs> I, so, yeah. Okay. So, okay. Does that work? Yeah. That's what I see. <laughs> it's, you know what it is? It's almost like um, sometimes when I, when I shower in the morning mm-hmm. and I have some like remnant or whatever, I have some weird feeling. I say out loud, I'm like, I'm washing away the past. I'm washing away mm-hmm. the past. I'm washing away the past. Mm-hmm. Right. And then you watch it go down the drain. Yeah. You know, and sometimes, you know, you sometimes things, you know, need to be washed more than once, right? Right. Like the way I liken it to is like you move into a really old house, right? And there's this fantastic old time oven. Mm-hmm. You think the first time you're going to clean it, it's going to be clean. It's like, you got to go in there and clean it three or four times until it gets like bright and sparkling and new. It's like, oh, where did you get that vintage oven? It's like, mm-hmm. I worked really hard to make this vintage yes. oven. <laughs> yes. Anyway, so clean, so clean up your old vintage acts and keep the things that are worth keeping and let go of what you don't need. Exactly. Okay. Bless you. Take care. See you tomorrow.